Hola, yo soy Cristian Solís Calero y hoy voy a presentar un trabajo titulado A DFT Study of Phantom Reaction from an Amador Indicator Phosphatidyl Ethanolamine Product Comparison with a Reaction from an Amador Indicate Lysine Pre-amine groups in biomolecules are targets of non-enzymatic aggregation in which the carbonyl group of reducing sugar, like glucose, reacts with the primary amine groups to initially form an unstable steep base, which then goes to other arrangements and forms a more stable amadori product. This product undergoes a further series of reactions leading to the formation of highly reactive alpha dicarbonyl compounds such as dioxal and methyl dioxal, which play an important role in the assistance of advanced glycation end products such as carboxymethyl compounds. The phosphatidylethanolamine component of biological membranes, a phospholipid, because has an amine group, are able to react with glucose to generate a chief base and amadori phosphatidylethanolamine products. From this amadori phosphatidylethanolamine product, it's possible to produce two carboxymethyl derivatives like uh, carboxymethyl phosphatidylethanolamine and carboxymethyl phosphatidylethanolamine. From Amadori product, it's also possible to produce decarbonyl compounds, like through phantom reaction could generate hydroxyl radicals that are able to initiate a lipid peroxidation and other oxidant reactions, oxidative reactions, another oxidative. Some experimental studies indicate that hydroxyl radicals from Amadori product are produced by the phantom reaction in the presence of transition metal ions such as iron, leading to formation of carboxymethyl compounds. However, the detailed reaction mechanisms of this process remain to be elucidated. Our proposal includes a mechanism of reaction where it is produced initially at the carbonyl intermediate and hydroxy peroxide molecule in a first step, and after that is generated an hydroxyl radical and hydroxy ion in a concerted way from oxidation of iron which is reduced and in a concerted way generate carboxymethyl final products. Uh, this work is part of a, a big project that we have developed in, in the Universidad of Illes Baleares in Spain. Uh, for studying reactions that occur in the sulfide phosphatidyl phenolamine surface. Then the question uh, we, we had was how to design a model to study mechanisms of reactions above biological membranes. This would be the cell, including two phospholipids, two phosphatidyl phenolamine molecules, and with truncate uh, acyl cane. And by periodic conditions, we have generated uh, something that could uh, model a model of a phosphorylated surface. In our modeling in specific uh, for, for studying the generation of hydrogen peroxide and decarbonyl intermediate, starting from a Madori product, the model includes uh, oxygen molecule and some water molecules. No, uh, explicit like explicit solvent and also like uh, uh, some water molecules participate also in the uh, reactions, uh, generally uh, uh, helping in the uh, transfers of products. 
our level of calculus, the level of calculus we have used uh, through DFT was uh, using double numerical base plus polarization functions and a correlation exchange function that we generalize the gradient approximation GGA with the spin polarized parameterization described by Perdeu, Barke, and Enzerhoff, PBA, PBE. In this slide, it shows the formation of hydrogen peroxide and generation of decarbonyl intermediate starting from Amadori product. This reaction occurs several proton transfers from atoms from Amadori of Amadori product. In this slide, it shows the step of the reaction starting from the reactant including Amadori product and oxygen molecule and several water molecules. This is the transition state and this is the product of the first step. That would be the decarbonyl intermediate and hydrogen peroxide molecule. This step also is shows the energy profile, the free energy profile, showing that this reaction occurs uh, with a less uh, free energy barrier in the case of the system on phosphoactyl phenolamine uh, surface in comparison to the system in water solvent um, having lysine. In this slide, it shows the second step of the reaction uh, with the generation of uh, hydroxyl radical and hydroxy ion and the uh, oxidation of iron uh, ion. In this slide, it shows the hydroxyl free radical formation step, the proper Fenton reaction with the generation of hydroxyl radical, hydroxy ion, and oxidation of iron ion. The first step involves the generation of carboxymethyl final products concerted with the reduction of iron ion to the, from the ferric form to the ferrosus form. This is the free energy profile showing that this reaction in the first step or has a similar free energy barriers in both system, in the system in the phosphatidyl phenolamine surface and also in the system in solvent water solvent. But in the first step that involves the generation of carboxy methyl products, uh, there are a uh, higher free energy barrier for the reaction in phosphatidyl ethanol surface in comparison to the reaction in water solvent. Conclusions. Our resource suggests the phosphatidyl ethanol surface has a catalytic role for the generation of hydrogen peroxide. Our results also give support to consider the Fenton reaction potential involved in generation of carboxymethyl products after as well as long-term oxidative damage in several physiopathological processes. We also uh, want to keep our own knowledge to the institutions that gave support to our work. Association Universitaria Iberoamericana de Postgrado that gave us the possibility to develop this work in part in the Universidad of Granada, in the Instituto Andaluz de Ciencias de la Tierra, and the Vicerrectorado de Investigación y Postgrado eh, from Universidad Nacional Mayor de San Marcos, Lima, Perú. Obrigado pela sua atenção.